What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we are doing episodes 23 and 24. This first one is called I'm Not Mature. I would expect it to say I'm not immature, but I'm curious as to where this is going to go. We ended off with the flashback, which fit perfectly. I get why it's 22.5 to lead us into some more higher stakes and for some more gravitas in this Kisei versus um, Almine match so let's see how this goes i am very excited and then we got more training and then we got more basketball and i am ready for it season two is right around the corner i say we hop right on into this don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel if you guys are excited please leave a like let me know your thoughts in those comments down below let's hop right on into it kuroko no basket episode 23 i'm not mature all right switching over to soccer so n no matter what sport it is kisei is just naturally athletic so he's giving up just making sure he gets the a so he's one of those that needs a challenge that needs some excitement in his life He's like a pre-Almine to Almine. Someone please light a fire in me. Well, little do you know, my friend. The way he's walking with the bag like that, even with the same like mentality, reminds me of Light Yagami from Death Note. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. And he's like, this dude is different. He loves that impossible challenge, like Endeavor to All Might with number two to number one. The more impossible it seems, the more eager he is to try and beat it, you know? I like that. Someday, and that day might be today, goddammit, as tip-off is going on. Okay, that was kind of fire. I love that. And they go right to him, no hesitation. But Almine is right behind him for the steal. I love this song when they play it, I really do. First point goes over to them. Ooh, okay, jumper. He is the mimic man. He is the mimic man. That's Rio's quick shot. Rio's quick shot. And he tipped it. That's definitely causing a miss. Kasamatsu! With the steal and the quick counter rebuttal? Okay. I know I've said this a hundred times already in this show, but Kasamatsu and Kisei remind me of Oikawa and Iwaizumi from Haikyuu, so that's what makes me like Kasamatsu so much already. <laughs> this is one of the biggest reasons why. Gotta do what you gotta do. Mm. Oh, okay, talking shit now. Come on. That's the title of this episode. He he kind of got inspired by Kuroko to be like, I want to actually start like improving my passion. I want to make my team win. But today, fuck all that. It's me and you. He said, I'm not mature enough to, to be all this bigger person shit. I'm fucking you up today, Almine. Ooh. This man is just built different. He really is. 
He says on him. He just literally chucks it up. This guy's a literal aimbot. He say really is had enough about me today. He really said this is my day today. Look at everyone. Everyone's so shocked. He didn't just tip it like Almine did. He said, give that here. That's mine. If anyone's going to be used to your tactics, it's going to be this guy. Hell yeah. Naruhodo. God, the show gets me fired up. That's what it, like to me when I'm losing in something like this, a situation like he said, I'm like, I can see progression. I could see potential. I could see me beating you. So that visualness of the goal makes it so much better for me. Fuck no. Momoi starting to understand what he's saying now. You give you give someone an inch, they'll take a mile. I'm not doing that at all. If you've learned someone's past and their moves well enough, you can start to predict the future and what they're gonna do next. And they know. Ooh. Alright, quick pivot into a fade jump. Yeah, they know. To the fade away. Okay, hit him with the pump fake. He tipped it still. Who is their number 10? Ha Hayakawa? Shout out to that rebound. I definitely know a couple of shooters like that that shoot in the weirdest ways, but it'll still go in. <laughs> wow, we're up right now. Okay, shouts out, shouts out Kaijo. Hell yeah, you are. Sorry guys, my allergies. That's a good question, my friend. Especially because you weren't here with spirit. <laughs> There are some people that are slow burners. It takes a little bit for them to warm up. There are some people that just kick in a little bit later, like Almina. Hell yeah. I really like Imayoshi. Not only as a captain, but I love his voice actor. I love his character design with the glasses, but he has that, like, you know. Oh, I love this. Even though, yes, but you guys definitely plan. You guys have Momoi. Come on. Oh my god, that was so fast. He couldn't even lift it up. And he... That very valid point. A very valid point. There's agility and then there's skill and Almine has both by a drastic margin. He's going to get an and one. Yep. He got the and one. God damn it. I get where he's coming from. You can't copy the goat. So it's like you can only be good up to a certain point. You know, you can only be so good. Damn. <laughs> he's just roasting him Yoshi. Tell him. Okay. Ooh, you can literally see the movement in his eyes. That man had fire in his eyes. 
that was the turnaround into the fadeaway. But he's going to make it his own. He's going to do something. Damn. Just when I thought Kisei was about to pull something out. Amine is on his ass. What on earth could that mean? Oh, the episode's about to end right here. Of course it is. Of course it is. God damn. Thankfully, I'm watching one more. <laughs> All right, on to episode 24, second to last episode of season one. This one is called Don't Get the Wrong Idea. He was expecting an ace vs one on one like normal in the paint. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense. He's like, why are they being so lax? But you can tell they want to win. What is going on? He drew the offensive foul. Oh, are we going to foul him out of the game? Okay. He is ballsy. And what it might have not worked. Plus, it's kind of dangerous. Okay. That's why I fuck with Kasamatsu. It's my boy right there, I swear. All right, they got that one. That's that's them. That's them. How how does one make a shot like that? I don't. I just don't understand that. That's literally cheating. Literally wall hacks. Aimbot. What is their goal? What is? Damn, not always true, but I get where he's coming from. I get that. There's a certain mental block, not just physical and stopping, you know? I would probably pick Kisei over Aumine as well, just because of their personalities. Like Kisei would try a lot more, most more often than not. That's where he needs to change. Yep, that's his mental attitude that needs to change. You'll stop looking up to him. End of the second quarter, end of the first half. Ending on a fucking buzzer beater. So now they're up nine. When we were up, what, like eight last time? Five? He's so dialed in right now. He's like, we have to. It's all on you, Kisei. We're having faith in our dude, our ace. Aumine is too damn strong. It doesn't matter. You can never beat the original. Come on. The only one who can beat me is me. And he firmly believes that. Are we going to get any character Kuroko? With number two as well. Yeah, let's hear Kuroko's thoughts on the matter. Knowing him, he's... Oh, I thought he was going to say Aumine. That's a very Kuroko answer. That's the whole definition of competition. It's anyone's game. Yeah, can't be 100% confident, you know. Especially going against someone like Aumine. It's only natural to feel doubt in yourself. That literally was Aumine's move he did on Kisei. <laughs> Had to, had to get him. Had to draw the foul, even though it prevent him from getting in there, you know? 
He did that just that one Kisei move, and they're all like, damn, okay. Oh, oh now you get you got those goosebumps again <laughs> yep his body is instinctually saying oh shit this is not <laughs> look at him this guy looks like a maniac <laughs> he is getting nice with it they're just following him like crazy ah oh. Oh, really no. Yep. He says it's too clean with it, but so is Almine. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Uh huh. Don't drag your feet. Kasamatsu with the turnaround fade away. Ayako. That man is literally obsessed with rebounds. Look at the way. <laughs> I love that. That man is goaded at the rebounds. He's like. Shouts out to these boys. Right? Feels a lot better than like your individual talents. What you need to do for them, what they do for you. The way they're setting this up, this man's about to go fucking Super Saiyan. I mean, it is a copy of yourself. I'm like Kuroko right now. I'm like Kagami right now. I'm like Momui right now. Oh my god. He's never experienced going against himself before. Everybody shook. He's running. He's trying to catch up. <laughs> Drew the foul and the plus one. He's going to do some Almine shit too. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. If we can foul him out while he says this nice. We're only down nine now. Oh, distracted. My man has it. I love that camera shot. I love this camera work. Amine is really deep in thought right now. <laughs> He's like, don't you dare question my skills for a second. Don't you ever make that face again. God damn it, Kisei and Aumine are so fucking cool. Like, how am I this hype and our fucking squad is not even playing right now, you know? <laughs> oh, 
I need the other 51 episodes right now. I need to watch the end of the show right now. God damn it. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. One, I'm very glad I had that 22.5 episode to like really understand Kisei's backstory and how he got into this. And then I, I, I'm i glad at the beginning of last episode as well, 23, that it showed how he was really good at soccer, anything he did, any, uh, whether it was athletics, whether it was academics, he would always excel. But he finally met that person who off rips, he's like, am I able to even copy that? I don't think I can, this guy's incredible. And since then, that sparked his interest in not only basketball itself, but having a challenge that seems immeasurable and unbeatable. And he's been slowly chipping at it, slowly chipping away at it, you know, over these years. And I love the fact that his mastery, I love his mastery technique. It's so much like, like Taskmaster, Taskmaster from uh, Marvel and how it takes him a little bit of time and the way he does it, like the way they animate it and he does it, like he has to like talk, he's like talking to himself. He looks all deranged, you know, but he's like, his mind is probably going at 7 million miles an hour trying to play an active game. Meanwhile, process what he's doing, how I can adapt it, how my body's able to do it. And then when he did it, like when he turned it on and they started animating him like Almine, I was like, whoa, like goddamn. And I love Almine's response to it. Like why? Is everyone's looking like this like if you got like stop stop feeling concerned for me like no those four fouls were on me him copying me is me like if you even have a second to feel sorry for me you better be coming at me with all you got motherfucker. because even when almine is backed in the corner he's still easily the more most formidable foe we've had by far and with he say oh, i love how kuroko and kagami have just been kuroko has been blank the entire time Makagami's like like half this fucking match and I'm right there with them oh my god this is so good this is this is so good and I we're not even on season two yet I'm only one third of the way through the show and I have a movie to watch oh my god if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts in those comments down below don't forget to subscribe Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon if you don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes. If you want up to four episodes ahead early access or the full uncut, unedited versions, check that out. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.